What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Tim Cooper, owner and operator of TCP, Tim Cooper Promotions, and YBA Films. You're now tuned in to Let's Talk Music, Episode 5. Stay tuned for the exclusive interview you don't want to miss. Peace. Appreciate you stopping by, Bam Jones, uh, here at YBA Films for Episode 5 of Let's Talk Music. Uh, let's get straight into the interview. Can you tell us what inspired you to start music? Just watching MTV jams, um, right? Big Ticket Basement, um, Rap City. Uh, I remember the back room freestyles and just seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like, just not only was I attracted at the, like, being so young, like, not only like the, the fabulous things, like the chains, the cars, and the money, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've noticed. Like, these guys was having the opportunity to tell their story, and that's what I was attracted to the most. So, like, over time, like, just constantly watching, like, these guys, like, Nas, Jay-Z, 50 Cent. Right. Like, I remember that era as a kid, so. I'm pretty sure uh, most of the viewers and, and your fans have seen and heard music from all of those artists. Uh, so, can you tell us, like, was there someone that got you into music? Was it an older cousin, you know, family member, friend? Like, who who inspired you to start doing music? Like, who got you into it? Like, it was like a process. Because I didn't really realize, you know, how talented I was and how great I was able to do it right. until I noticed I was able to move a crowd. You know, that's when, you know, I realized I was gifted. But the process started, like, I remember, like, I was like eight or nine. Like right. 50 Cent, Get Rich and Die Try album, I just dropped. Like, yo, my mom's had got it for me. Like, that's like the first hip hop album like, I ever had for myself. Like, I listened to it like all day, every day. I fell in love with that album. <laughs> like, I remember at one point in time, like, I knew that album word for word. So then, like, me and like, yo, my older cousin, like, I remember it was me, him, his older sister, my right. older sister. Like, we always used to come together, like, during like the summers. And, one day, like, it's, it's, this might sound crazy, but, like, we had basically, me and my older cousin, like, we had basically rewritten every song off the Get Rich and Die Trying album, like, as, in, like, our own song and type shit, like, just using, like, the same beat, just going over him, just trying to rap it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we perform, like, yo, we, like, eight or nine years old just <laughs> trying to do it, so you feel me? Like, we Putting on the rap. show. <laughs> yeah, so, then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, as time went by, you know what I'm saying? Like, they went to, like, freestyling and battling and roasting each other like with some okay. older friends, you know what I'm saying? Like just coming up in the um, hood, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, like that was just me and the God's way of expressing ourselves and just being out there, you know what I'm saying? Just that hitting was, and stuff yeah, like open that. your eyes. That was the beginning. So then like, okay, it was time passed after that. So then this is when um, I met IG. IGTK. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. King, KKO. I met them guys, and you know what I'm saying? That's when they bought the artistic side out of me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being in the booth with them, like, just seeing how they work. Made you, know you more what I'm hungry. Saying? Like, yeah, like, okay, like, right. rapping is something I really want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just, like, over time, you know what I'm saying? Just having friends at school, you know what I'm saying? Like, they used to put on beats for me. Things like that is what made me the artist I am today is what made me inspired to rap overall. Like, it just wasn't, like... No one night thing. Like I just woke up and said, like I want to be a rapper because I see it as an easy way out. Like nah, because right. if I see it as an easy way out, then I would take the easy way out instead of trying to build it from the ground up. I got you to kind of touch on uh, what you felt like as far as the factors that ties into being able to draw a crowd and get exposure for your brand and your music, as well as uh, why you feel you're the best at what you do when it comes to music. Um, can you kind of tell us? Uh, your thought process when it comes to uh, deciding, like, the vibe that you want to give off with each beat that you get uh, for your music. Like, how do you get uh, to the point where you've decided on what you want to give off as energy? Like, for, like, the most part of um, when I go in and write, a lot of my music is premeditated. For the most part of things, um, I premeditate on a lot of my music because not just 
what I say, how I say is important, man. You know, um, a lot of my music does stem from how I feel right. in this certain point of time. And that'd be the challenge, as you know, as an artist, because when I go to perform mm-hmm. a, a song or this certain song, you know, you know, I got to channel in that vibe, that you vibe. know, try to bring myself back. So say like, for instance, like if I was to write like a sad song, like during the moment of me writing that song, I was sad. And so if I write something that seems like more uplifting and, and in happy light, then, you know, I was joyful when I was writing the song. And if I, like, touch like, more, like, deep thinking type-wise, like, Thought consciousness, broken. then, you know, I was just heavy in my thoughts just trying to figure out things because, you know, like, because I use music as a tool for that, too, and try to find answers. I look at music at so different angles, you know what I'm saying, in life, and I think that's what really separates me from, like, a lot of people because not only do I see, like, music, it's just music. Like, I see it as something that is a way of life. Right, lifestyle. All together. Like, music is a lifestyle. You should be able to relate to it. Yeah. Especially right. when it comes to your life and the lifestyle you live. Can you tell us what type of projects do you have upcoming? What should the fans and the viewers be looking for when it comes to Bam Jones and your music and your brand? The album. And the when album. is the release date? What's the name of the album that you got coming out? I'm, I'm still flirting with ideas. So, it's just safe to say... That it's, there is an album in the works, yes, yes, had kind of right. got all the details hashed out. Yes, like I honestly do have a lot, but I don't want to say the album is going to be named this, and it won't. Right. I'm, I don't want to say it's going to be dropped on this date. Right. Then it's not. Gotcha. Because you know that's something I have done in the past, but you know what I'm saying? It's like more and more. Like I learn new How stuff move. every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I learn new stuff every day. Like not just about myself as an artist, but like the world around me. Right. So like these type of things does take effect in my music. And you know like I constantly do a lot of writing. So like me writing it mm-hmm. is like my creation. It's like like the most important thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I got a lot of written material mm-hmm. for this album. And you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I'm just waiting for the perfect time to make it all come together, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly. one big whole project. Strategic planning. Yeah. Definitely, because you don't want to put out a lot of content like we were talking about earlier before the interview. You know, it's all about quality, not always quantity. Yeah. You know? Okay. Um, can you tell the fans and the viewers how they can connect with you uh, when it comes to the Bam Jones brand uh, and, and your music? How can they connect with you? Uh, you can find me on you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. You can search me up on Google. Bam Jones. Um, SoundCloud will come up. Apple okay. Music, Spotify. Okay. Like everything. Like music Definitely. on all major plat- platforms. That concludes our interview questions. Definitely want to say appreciate you coming out uh, to YBA Films and being a part of episode five of Let's Talk Music. Uh, we wish you nothing but success and the best of luck to you and your music and your. Yeah. Bam Jones. 3R Pro. Yeah. YBA. Look. I am Jesus, nailed to a burning cross. I meet you niggas in paradise. I meet you rappers in your afterlife. Reincarnation just to kill you twice. See the envy in you, that's your DNA. Welcome to the show, no TNT. God like, even atheists gon' believe in me when they feel the rap. You just started rapping like a year ago. Now you wanna claim you the best. You gon' get discouraged and fall off. You gon' end up like the rest. I'm the bad friend who ain't there for you. Don't push a button, I spaz on you. Why hit the dug it and dab on you? No Rolling Stone, but the mag on you. Or oh, the turtle wanna have with a race now. Or oh, you Hollywood. Niggas wanna act now. I'm attacking everything in the background. Girl, you know you look better with your face down. I got holy water in the fifth of gin. I got pot's blood in one cup. I took the sip, now I feel like being popular so that they human flesh.